Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comments, let me know your thoughts on the story. Liverpool gangster George Bromley Jr. was a notorious crime boss and part of the well-known fearsome Bromley crime group. People that ran in his circles had once named him the psycho and he lived up to the reputation. He loved it. He played on it. George Bromley Jr. had a short fuse and despite not possessing any significant star quality, he was well known and treated like a king, mainly because of his dad, George Bromley Sr. Now George Bromley Jr. was the same gangster that had went to Liverpool legend Stephen Gerald's flat and terrorised him in a two year campaign after Stephen Gerald was said to have dated a girl that George was interested in. Gangster George Bromley was said to have promised to Stephen Gerald's in the legs, as Stephen's dad had to enlist gangster and known enforcer John Kinsella in order to get the ordeal to stop. He played mediator. The then 21-year-old George Bromley Jr. was sentenced to 10 years back in 2005 after he led his gang that was described as a feral mob to Addict's house and broke their legs with a mallet and then used the iron to press it against the Addict's skin. George regularly used addicts and handed them packages of Class A gear, specifically H, and then would tell them to go to Cumbria and start selling. Now George believed that this addict had used the drugs. It was only a miracle that the addict was not emmed, and the reason for that was because they jumped out of the window. George did his jail time at Kirkham Prison, and when he was just weeks away from his release, George sparked a nationwide manhunt when he decided to escape. Now prison staff were first alerted to the escape just before 1.30pm on May 19th when George actually managed to walk out of the prison. Now police then received reports of a vehicle operator services agency's Ford Galaxy had been stolen near the A58 which was close to the prison. Of course George had commandeered the vehicle. The car had then been driven to Dobby's garden centre. Police went to the location and actually found George still at the premises just 30 minutes later. When police approached him, he did not resist and he was arrested and then he actually pled guilty to escape in prison. It's safe to say that George Bromley Jr. was unhinged. Stay safe. Safe.